I got to play the new Rainbow Six Siege season early, and that meant that I got the first hands-on approach for the new operators, which I can just say is old recruit. It's the same! But recycled with new skins. Let me explain. So what Ubisoft decided to do instead of completely reworking the abilities of recruit or just making him an actual operator, they basically changed the name from recruit to two different names, that being striker and century. Now these names have no purpose in my opinion, but I feel like Ubisoft missed the mark on this recruit rework because I feel like instead of what they did with Re Recruit, which is basically just giving the operator two different gadgets on both sides, which old Recruit basically was, but now you can kind of customize your loadout and you can give uh, different skins and whatnot. And I'm glad they did this with Recruit because now you can really customize Recruit to your own liking and you can swap the reticles and all that good stuff when it comes to the attachments. And that, I don't have any problem with that. But I feel like they missed the mark on the primary ability. And if you didn't know, this recruit now has just two gadgets. No primary ability. His primary ability is able to have two different gadgets, just like the old recruit. So if I'm on defense and I want to bring a shield and a C4, I can. And the only big difference between old recruit and new recruit is one, the skin, and two, you can swap your gun's attachments up now and you can go through all these secondary gadgets and you can get two of them. And that's cool and all, but I feel like a way better gadget and it's something that I really thought Ubisoft was going to do was if I'm on attack as recruit, I would be able to get one extra gadget that is a primary gadget for one of my attacking operators. So for example, if I'm on attack and my teammate is Ash, then I would pick to use an Ash charge and I would get a third Ash charge. So not taking anything away from Ash itself, but I would get an extra gadget just being that Ash charge. And even on defense, that'd be really freaking cool because I can, I would feel like you would have meaning and purpose for bringing this operator and you can only bring one recruit now. So that wouldn't be overpowered because you wouldn't see four recruits. That's all basically Ash with Ash charges. So you know how Demos basically has that UI where you can swap in between which defender to scan? I thought it would kind of be like that, where Recruit would be able to scan between all of his teammates, and once he picks whatever teammate, he gets one of their gadgets. And I don't know how broken the code would be for that, but I feel like that would be a way better alternative. And let's go into my second point of why this kind of sucks, these two operators. They suck mostly because you can only bring one of them. And that was the whole fun of Recruit, is a lot of the times the memes came out, and I feel like a lot of the times, not only Ubisoft, but just gamers in general forget that we're playing a video game at the end of the day. And I understand there's so many balancing issues that you want with a game like Siege because it's all tactical, but... I feel like we're just gutting the the meme funness out of the game slowly and slowly and like i don't want siege to feel com constantly just competitive especially like in ranked games because it just feels boring when you face the same site setups with the same operator selection and that was the beauty of siege when i first got into it back in year one i could bring five recruits and, and make a specific strat or i could do silly stuff like that and it was just fun, even in ranked. Was it viable in a comp setting? Hell no, but at least it was fun. And I feel like operators are getting less and less fun as they release, and it, it kind of just sucks. Now to go on to the positive things of this new season, besides the operators, of course, uh, we are now seeing Finier's gadgets be able to be shot no matter where you place it, and it doesn't need to be opened. And this was an interesting take on nerfing this operator but i think it's definitely needed i don't know if twitch can destroy it i would assume so if a bullet can shoot it so it really makes the finier player have to tactically play the finier devices which i think is definitely good but on the flip side now if they shoot one of your finier devices it's not like you lose out on what they call the code and basically you can swap in between finier devices as much as you want just like before but you don't lose a code Beforehand, what would happen is you would have your finger devices set up and say you had like three activated. If they shoot one, you can't just reactivate another one and still have three. You'd have two. That is now no longer a thing. 
Another nerf that we're seeing is Solus. So Solus has been a huge problem in ranked from every single rank. It, it makes, makes it damn near impossible to try to get your drones pre-placed on the map. And it's really just became so defender heavy that it's exhausting to attack. Even though personally, I like attacking over defending. It just sucked because you can't have a pre-place across the map. And that takes a lot of your time out of the round. But now Solus can't use her gadget in the prep phase. And there's now a cooldown that needs to be completely filled up before you use the Solus device. I feel like this is definitely a good way and it's one part of the two part way that they plan on nerfing this operator which i don't think they need to do two parts into nerfing solus but i'm definitely interested to see what is next for the nerf in terms of a new map it looks like they kind of changed some things around with stadium bravo they mentioned that they got rid of the glass on the map so you can't just sit outside and shoot through a you know have a drone there and have get free free info and not be able to shoot through it so i guess that's good i personally still hate the maps i don't want them to ever come into ranked so hopefully they stay where they are hopefully just in casual and speaking about casual and maps you don't want to play in every single mode that's not ranked you're able to filter out what maps you play now this is going to suck in terms of queue time for people that want to play you know the more disliked maps but at least you're able to now filter it out and pick and choose what you play. Now, a huge update, and I feel like that's something that Ubisoft is definitely banking on this season, is the R6 Marketplace. This is coming to the live for everybody uh, that's over level 25, and I feel like this is absolutely huge. I love the Marketplace, and I love that everybody will have access to it. I'm going to make a video on the best guns or best cosmetics in general, that you should look out for and buy especially when it's low and some things that you should definitely avoid so just stay tuned for that overall as a content creator and as a player i feel like i'm fine with the changes that they made because it's just more quality of life changes that makes the game feel better more smooth and just play better especially with broken operators that's on the defensive end but i really want like a game changing operator something like a zombie that was very just so fun i remember back in the day when i used to play siege there used to be so many fun new operators that came out and i get it we're almost at 100 operators but it just feels like kind of boring sometimes with these new operators i used to get super excited to hear about what operator we're getting and to be honest i'm not i really wish they would just add more new innovative guns or something at least even if the operator is bland like as long as we have some cool guns with some you know not broken operators on defense i feel like the game would feel so much better but overall if you love rainbow six siege at its core then i feel like this season you're not going to be too disappointed because we are getting the r6 marketplace which is a heavy heavy reason why i feel like a lot of players will be playing this season and like i said i will be coming out with a skins video uh explaining which ones you should buy and shouldn't because of someone who's been in the beta since it came out i've seen a lot of things fluctuate in pricing and i feel like a lot of people will just dump a lot of skins or they over hype some skins and it, they just sell for way too much so if you guys do want to see uh, that video, make sure that you guys like, sub, and comment. Let me know on your thoughts and opinions on how I would rework Recruit and how I thought his gadgets should have been. And let me know how you would have been. What are some things that you enjoy about this new season coming up? And what are some things that you don't like? Let me know in the comments and let's have a discussion.